So I'm starting to see why there's a lot of hate towards this individual. I have no doubt that there are more individuals that have come forward about Simpa. Again, I don't know that I don't know this person. The only reason I even knew of the person was because of a video that it's a Gundam did way back. And I caught like one stream of this person. And I kind of now after reading, after reading this person's experience, I kind of now get the picture of what was going on in this group. Whether there was like underage, overage, adult versus kids, not even going to get to any of that shit. But I kind of get the picture of what was going on in this video. I mean, it was going, what's going on in this little group of uh, Super Smash. And we have uh, an emotional and manipulation, unwanted sexual molestation by a person named Cypher. So it took me a minute. I was trying to find out is this person a guy. And I finally was able to see that it is, it is, it is in, in fact a guy. In any event, we're going to read through this and this is going to be a good one. And this is actually a very good learning experience for a lot of you guys who have very little experience when it comes to dealing with women. Or if you're in like a lesbian relationship and there's like one person who's more masculine than the, than the other, whether it's like two guys or two girls, etc. It doesn't even matter. In every relationship, there is one who is more masculine than the other. And typically, uh, there are certain behaviors that will ruin the interaction. And this is what we refer to in the red pill community as simping. Simping involves behavior that is like basically lying, right? The over exaggeration of telling an individual, for example, how beautiful they are, um, telling them how much you want to be with them, uh, being overly, being overly verbally uh, affectionate, right? Telling the person that I, I really want a relationship or I just want to let you know I have strong feelings for you, right? Or buying flowers for a girl that's not like your girlfriend that you haven't been sleeping with, or <laughs> as in the instance of this individual, giving money to people who, I mean, shit, even if you were with the person, I mean, you, as a guy, you got to be really careful when it comes to this. This is a very classic example of what we call in the red pill community simping. And this shit is hard for a lot of you men that have very little experience with women. Women do this shit on the daily. What you will see within the context of this person's twit logger, this is on the daily what most men have to deal with. And when you don't have an understanding of women, this, these are the snares and the pitfalls that you fall into. Again, I don't know the age of these individuals. And frankly, I really don't care because whether you're a teenager simping for an older woman or an older guy simping for a younger woman, it's all the same shit, right? So we're going to read as early as March of 2016, Simpai and I discussed the possibility of living together as we had what, what I believed to be a strong friendship. Again, what, this is what he believed. Doesn't mean that it's what she believed, but it's what he believed. And of course, again, in the Red Pill community, we don't believe in being strong, having strong friendships with women. We just have sexual relationships with them and then we keep it moving. We don't sit here and, and, like, like, and try to have some sort of a touchy-feely relationship where we pour out our feelings to these women. <clears throat> this is shit we just don't do. And for a very good reason, which you'll see. He says, from the start, I tried to make sure that she understood that she would need to get a job and contribute to the house. Right? So this is, again, this is a woman hitting up a guy that she's not in a relationship with and trying to move in with him, right? I mean, again, as much as he tries to reiterate that she needs to get a job, his behavior tends to, to, tends to tell a different tale, right? It says both financially and with clearly and other stuff to make it work. The original concept involved me moving out of my house and down to the Virginia Beach area, mainly due uh, to location, based trauma and that was trying to avoid processing although we talked about it several times throughout the year i 
I was extremely hesitant to leave my house and the area and, and nothing ever materialized from that. And of course, you can see the little conversation that they had here talking about that. Well, we might as well take a look at it, right? So the only thing I want to talk about is really what he says here, right? So this is very important. To, this is this is her reply. She says, I appreciate you. Uh, I says, I appreciate getting back to me. It says, though, to be honest, uh, says you're just someone I get along with easily, right? That was her way of saying, I view you only as a friend, right? So she was kind of making that subtly, uh, subtly clear without hurting your feelings. And women typically do this all the time because women don't want to get into uh, an argument with a simp because they never know how a guy is going to react. Is he going to be overly aggressive? Is he going to become emotional? Is he going to become violent? And so women typically try to let men down easily. And so that's what she said when she said that I get along with you easily. And easy is literally the best compliment I can give a friendship. It seems it's, it's seamless with you. It says, I don't feel like I have to impress you. Or to put on the super happy cinnamon face hanging around you. That's literally her way of saying she is in no way, shape, or form sexually interested in you. As she said, I don't have to impress you. Typically, a woman who is interested in a man will do things to try to impress them. Especially if he is a guy who's on his purpose, who's on his grind, who's very popular, who's good looking, who's fit, who gets women women will typically do things to try to impress an individual like that. Typically what they call the Chads and the Tyrones. And so clearly she did not view you this way. Even though you were trying to fake having a relationship with this individual, as you said, in your mind, you were trying to have a more than sexual relationship. You were trying to have a sexual relationship with this individual, which you'll clearly see he talks about in his writings. And she says here, uh, we can have a lot in common to talk without hesitation to one another. He says, I like to think I give you that level of comfort and ease. Well, well, at least I hope I do. He says, no, it's okay. He says, I think you're open with me. I try to be there for you the best I can, but I'm pretty bad at things like that. And this is very telling. When a female gives you information, because women tend to tell on themselves when a woman gives you information about herself, take it seriously. So she says that she's really not good about being there for you. She says, I'm pretty bad at that, at things like that, which is very telling about her being open. She has a hard time being open, but she says, I try to be there for you, right? It says, but as far as financially, I would need to get a secure job first as well so this is clearly an individual who did not have the means to jump into a financial relationship with you as an individual so why would you even consider moving in with this individual even whether they brought it up or not or whether you brought it up why would you make the initiation to move in with someone who was financially unstable because you're a simping for her it says, sometime around November, Simpai instead proposed the idea of moving into my house in North Virginia. And so she had been, she had been telling, me that she, telling me that her living situation in Sova was unbearable. And she sounded desperate enough that I wanted to give her a safe place to stay while she got on her feet under her, while she got her feet under her and her life in order. Isn't that nice? So her white knight in shining armor was coming to save her. She says, I agree to it with some conditions that we had discussed previously. And we talked about her getting a car and to make the job possible, including going to work, going, excuse, including going out to look at some used cars for sales near my house. I also made it clear to her that I didn't necessarily see her living in my house as a long-term solution to her. And you can view that right there. Link will be in the description for this very interesting and enjoyable read. It says, after she moved in, her boyfriend began to visit her on a daily basis. And it got to the point where he would stay almost every night. Right? So now you have the white knight moving in, a, moving in this female into his, into his place 
providing for her because she never ends up getting a job. And then her boyfriend comes over to pipe her down in your house. <laughs> she fucking can't make this shit up. This in itself wouldn't have been an awful thing. But Simbai seemed content to live a relatively low stress life and showed no interest in finding a job. We walk near the end. It says we, we talk near the end of 2016. And again, this shit started back in November. And this conversation actually began in March. And it says sometime around November, she proposed the idea of moving in and then she was already living with him. So by the end of 2016, he says, I reiterated that she needed to work on getting a job and taking care of herself. Why would she? You were doing it for her, <laughs> especially if I decided to move out of the area, which I was still considering at this point. He says after this talk, she began to cry and I comforted her. Aren't you nice? He says feeling badly about her being upset, but resolute that she needed to change things. Since so after this talk, she sent me a long message essentially stating that she didn't want or really needed a traditional job and how important I was to her. Right? So I'm sure that made your simp heart feel real good, real good about yourself. She was like, I'm almost there. I finally got her. I finally have the woman of my dreams. This is Simpai informed me that she had been hired at a brew at a brew house that was about 20 minutes drive from my house which i live in the middle of nowhere almost any job will be about 10 or 15 minutes away i said i congratulated her and when i asked how she would get to and from work she told me that her plan involved having her boyfriend drive her and using rideshare service when he couldn't he says i don't believe that she lasted more than a week surprise surprise he says at most her job before she quit and things returned to normal and whose fault was that so i don't know whether she thought her making that minimal effort would satisfy me for a time it did it says in early february i sat i sat down with senpai for another serious talk and reiterated my previous point about her needing some kind of contributable income I also told her that her boyfriend couldn't live. So he took a stand. He's like, I know you're getting piped down in my house, but damn it, we got to put a stop to this. Him being there 24-7. So now you have another guy living in your house. <laughs> just fucking can't, man. I just fucking can't. So now you have another guy living in your house with the woman of your dreams. <sighs> This is a fucking hard video to make. This is a hard fucking video to make, man. It says, I told her that he was welcome to come and spend time with her and occasionally stay over, but that it couldn't be every night. At least you took a stand over something. She repeatedly agreed to everything, and then identically to our last conversation like that, she began to cry and this shit is predictable like this behavior is fucking predictable and this is what females do they try to exploit you when you be over when you're overly nice and they treat you like shit you know what they do they don't turn around and thank you for all the things that you do they keep treating you like shit and this is what this is exactly what happened to this man uh i mean again i don't know how old this person was and i don't care this is this is the bad behavior that gets men into trouble and we'll continue to see what his real motives were. Was he really just interested in being her friend? Let's find out. He says, although I felt badly about causing her emotional uh, reaction, <laughs> I, t I held firm to what I told her. He said, there's a bit more to this portion of the story, but I'll address it near the end of this document. He says, I sent Pin Simpai a message in mid-February letting her know that I didn't think our living situation could continue. I tried to keep it as diplomatic and friendly as possible because he didn't want to ruin the relationship, right? Communicating my feelings without assigning blame. He's like, for it wasn't working. She responded back with her side of things, but ultimately agreed to work on finding a new place to live by the end of March. 
By mid-March, she had left my house and did not return. She left most of her belongings, <laughs> including her bed, in a room of my house for at least six to eight months. <laughs> Just fucking can't, man. Until she and her boyfriend returned to load them up and take them to wherever they were staying. And then, of course, you can lead... You can see here a little, little story. I just fucking can't bear. I'll, like I said, the link will be in the description. You guys can see it. Where was I? Okay, all right. So Senpai and only occasionally saw each other at smash events for the next several months. Our relationship became strained and we exchanged some terse messages. Though we always tried to repair things until everything became clear to me and I blocked her on everything months later so so now actually did i skip around oh no sorry yeah i'm good all right so he says um i told her that i oh here we go so this is this is part so he says so now so this is much later so now after all that i like to touch on the emotional and sexual manipulation that simpai exhibited in february of 2016 i told simpai that i liked her but added that if it didn't happen, I still valued her friendship and didn't want that to change. She, she thanked me for that and stated that she wanted to pursue a relationship with another smasher. Oh, I'm sure that must have hurt your feelings. Says now that Senpai knew that I was interested, however, she took the opportunity to exercise her power however she could. Whether it was taking advantage of my kindness to ask for money, or giving me a huge hickey before a Xanadu Weekly, or even sending me lewd pictures of herself, she constantly toyed with my emotions and kept me close and kept me close enough. No fucking shit. This is what we refer to as male orbiters. And that was you. You were her male orbiter that she used whenever she needed something. She completely used you. And this is what the vast, vast, vast majority of females do. And red pill content creators try to do their best to let men know that this is what women do and to prepare you for it. But most of you guys that are out there come from single moms and are raised to believe that you need to make her your friend. You need to really show that you're a, a great catch that you're the best thing ever, and then maybe, maybe, just maybe, she'll one day, she'll see you for the catch that you are. And instead, she jumps from fucking Chad to Tyrone and back again, and all the while, you're there whenever she fucking falls down on her feet, you're right there as fucking Captain save -ho to try to save this young damsel in distress. <sighs> My God, if you like, you can read, you can read the rest of this and it literally, and he even gives her money at some point because he feels sorry for her and you got played badly. And this is what happens to simps. And this is what I talked about in my last video about personal responsibility and that a lot of young people today don't know how to be personally responsible for their actions. This man literally in every way, shape, or form pretends like he isn't responsible for the way this person acted towards him. It's primarily because he's young and inexperienced, has absolutely no understanding of how women, especially in 2020, are. As many females will still come out here and will we'll, we'll sit here and talk about how terrible this person is, I'm sure the Twitter responses from other females are like, oh, she's this, that, and everything else. Guess fucking what? They do the exact same shit. Problem is, is that dudes like you will get caught up in this manipulation time and time again. It's literally why in every one of my videos, I always tell people, stop fucking with these women. Or at the very least, pump and dump and keep it moving and focus on your grind. Focus on what their job, focus on getting getting an education, focusing on what, anything. Anything other than this shit. Because I see a lot. I see this a lot. This is why Twitter is so popular and, and Twitch is so popular and things like OnlyFans or whatever the fuck it's called or um, 
and dating apps are so popular is because there's so many dudes, there's so many dudes out there that just simp so fucking hard for women that women can't even help acting this way. Because why would they why would they opposite act any other way when you give them no other recourse but to literally walk all over you? And you do this shit willingly. You do this shit willingly. You sit here and pretend that you want to be a female's friend when you literally just want to bang the shit out of her. And you're so afraid to just come out and say it. You're so afraid to just come out and say, I want to have sex with you. I find you attractive and I'm looking for a sexual relationship. Instead, you lie and you manipulate young women into pretending to be their friends. And women hate this shit. That's why when you come out and you try to do this shit, women come turn around and realize that you actually have an attraction to them and you've been pretending to be their friend the whole time. It often backfires. But on an occasion, not too rare these days, you will come across a woman like this who will manipulate the fuck out of you, use you for everything that you're worth and will leave you there in the dirt writing YouTube, I mean, fucking Twitter, Twitter longer messages like this, asking for sympathy. And I give you no sympathy whatsoever because the red pill content is out there on YouTube, on fucking Twitter, on Twitch. There are plenty of men out there who have been talking about this for a very long time. The difference is you choose to ignore it, thinking that this behavior will get you somewhere with Mimmin. It's actually manipulative. This behavior is indicative of a manipulative man who is too afraid to speak his mind and this is why so many relationships nowadays are such shit and why the divorce rate is the way it is. Because there's so many men that are so weak. They're so weak to state what to state what's on their mind, to state what they want. Instead, they try to they try to use mani- manipulation. And women are their fucking queens at manipulating men all day, every day. It's one of the reasons why all these young men are out there and saying, why is it that she's out here sleeping with this guy who's treating her like an asshole when I would be such a nice guy for her? And you know what? They use you every way that they can. I'm sorry you had to learn the hard way. Hopefully you learned the hard lesson of not simping for women.